boogie boogie in the bright starlight. Shake, shake, shake your booty in your pants so tight. Okay, tight. we've seen the rhino, the otter, and the penguins. Hey, you know, wasn't there something weird about those penguins? What do you mean? Like, were they doing taekwondo? He knows too much. Take your shot. What? <laughs> That's crazy talk. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Abort. <laughs> I've always wanted to dabble in the visual arts. Um, let's bug out. What happened? Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Very interesting uh, painting. Ever seen such a oh, oh, oh. okay, I'm dying to have that hanging in my lawn. I've done it! I've just designed a pocket hyperbolic quantum accelerator that will save civilization. Well, that earns a big attaboy. Gosh! There is, however, a 50% chance the pocket hyperbolic quantum accelerator could actually destroy civilization. I see one major problem with your invention, Kowalski. We don't have pockets. Skipper, couldn't the 50% chance of worldwide destruction be a problem too? Hmm. Brabbit may be onto something. Rico, what do you think? Uh-uh. That was my new calculator. Gone. Back to this, I guess. Rico, destroy the right device this time. Ooh, maybe destroy them all, just to be sure. Okay. Wait. There is no device to destroy. I haven't built it yet. It's just a plan. A very big plan. Oh, that's different. Plans aren't dangerous. Oh, man. Unless they fall into the wrong hands. Whoa, that old diamond. No, I have wasted the best years of my lonely, lonely life on these plans. I won't let you destroy them. Oh, stay close to Papa. Postcard reproductions are for sale in the souvenir shop. Shh. Oh, your oh, taste approaches. Oh. Kowalski, I don't relish global Armageddon, except for the part with the mutant vampire motorcycle gangs that rule the vast wastelands. Looking forward to throwing down with those boys. Huh? But on the other hand, I look at that scribble and it's just so much gobbledygook. Life's work. Skipper. Anyway, save it or shred it. You make the call. Should I destroy my greatest creation and deprive civilization of something wonderful? Or keep it and risk total global annihilation? I've never seen him so conflicted. Yesterday? At the snow cone booth? Should I indulge myself with the luscious but familiar flavors of a blueberry bubblegum? Or do I venture into the high-risk, high-reward of honeydew lemon? Oh, yes. It was as if time froze. Well, more like Kowalski froze and time kept going. And going? It's the Rackets! Chuck Charles here, live at the Central Park Zoo with the art world's latest sensation. A pachyderm with a penchant for painting. Arriving on the scene now, it is famed art critic, Bella Von Bueno. <laughs> Tell us, Bella, is Bert the Elephant the next Andy Warhol. The panda was a heck. Gentlemen, you are right. If these plans were to fall into the wrong hands, civilization itself would come to an end. Therefore, they must be de destroyed. Good move, Kowalski. It's nice to see you sat in the civilization. Sue those plans. <laughs> This does not bode well for the abstract animal art movement. Uh, ah. 
<laughs> Crevex. What are they now? <gasps> but this one. The elephant is going in a bold new direction. <gasps> Genius! This must go straight to the museum for all the world to savor! But that wasn't even mine. Nuts. This must go straight to the museum for all the world to savor! On the bright side, Kowalski, your work's the path of the art scene. Sure, the perfect symmetry of my equation may look like a harmless abstract, but any evil genius with a Van Dyke will see the truth. Let me illustrate. I am an evil genius visiting the museum. Hello there. I'm visiting the museum too. Can you help me find the rainbow painting? Private, stay on message. As I was saying, I am an evil genius visiting the museum. I wish I had a pocket hyperbolic quantum accelerator I could use to destroy the world. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that diagram must never see the light of track lighting. Good news, Artsy Elephant. I have decided to allow you to capture my royal regalness. To what now? He wants you to paint him. Really? You sure? Yes. Paint me. Okay. <laughs> Not me, me. The canvas. I want you to put me on the canvas. All oh, right. Not like you. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Gosh, you really think so? Uh, yes. In fact, I wouldn't mind having multiple copies of that. You know, to give as gifts. Hey, no problem. Know it? <laughs> Can I get one in blue? Absolutely. One child ticket, please. How old are you? One senior ticket, please. Ah, uh, okay, funny guy. Let's go. Huh? Ventilation shaft? Really, Kowalski? Seems a tad cliché. Ah, cliché. French for I don't hear anyone else coming up with anything. Hold your ground, men. My God! That would be the shiny, smooth metal. Hey, Kowalski, what's French for this ain't happening? Touche. What? A Trojan horse? <laughs> Art. I don't get it. It worked? But isn't this a cliche, too? Nah, it's a classic. Why is that? Because it was my idea. Operation Paint Remover is a go. Situation? If my self-educated guess is correct, the diagram should be in the next room. Not so fast, Private. Alarm lasers. Just as I suspect. Korski, options. How do you feel about disco? Ambivalent. Why? <laughs> Hit it. Rico. Okay, time to shred this puppy. I can't let you do that. Look, its subtle symmetry of form makes it a truly unique piece of art. It would be a crime to destroy it. It is rather subtle in a, you know, unique, symmetry-ish way. Yep. Maybe. But we just can't leave it here where any odd wandering mad scientist with a Van Dyke could discover it. Oh! I'm just gonna Ta-da! Ah! Without that plus sign, it makes no sense as a schematic. Though I question the Lunacorn. I like it! 
We're here for the unveiling of the museum's latest acquisition, the first ever created by a non-human. And now, world-famous art critic Bella Von Bueno will do the honors. I mean, no, this is not right. Something is different. Oh, amateurish forgery! Amateurish? Critics can be so cruel. Buck up, soldier. You may not be recognized as a great artist, but you are a darn good inventor of devices that could save the world. With only a 50% chance of destroying it? There! And they said my work would never hang at the museum. Art. I still don't get it. <laughs> 